Hey y'all, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. So I took a few notes before and I pulled some cards for y'all. And so I got a lot of messages for you, okay? So you could be dealing with somebody here who is possibly, um, like their actions are possibly affecting how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem, your view, your perspective of yourself. Um, okay or maybe they were in the past okay if so i believe you're coming out of this because you're once you start realizing something like this you can come out of it like this epiphany moment and then okay the thing is whatever they're going through it don't have anything to do with you and i just saw number 44 so 44 or 444 4 could be significant to you and also 999 somebody's completing a cycle and i just saw 55 Okay, so also I got the song Adele, One and Only, and Janet Jackson, That's the Way Love Goes. Then I knew Janet Jackson was a Taurus, but I looked up Adele, and she's a Taurus too, and I'm seeing 111 on the clock. So big Taurus energy is in the reading with the Empress, okay? That's also Libra. We got Aquarius, um, Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. Um... All the signs pretty much came out, y'all. So, all right. We got Leo over here with the sun. Okay, so, but back to what I was saying about this person you're dealing with. Or this could be you, you know, that maybe you are, your actions are affecting somebody else, but it don't really have anything to do with them. It's just something you're going through. Okay, for some of y'all. So, somebody definitely here is getting this guidance to pull back their energy or be more conscious of where they're focusing their energy on and it's like somebody's calling their energy back now you could be calling back your energy from somebody um or you could be dealing with somebody who's closing out some kind of karmic cycles they're calling their energy back from some people or situations or whatever the case is um they're getting messages here from their like could be archangel michael and i'm seeing 222 on the clock Wow, so definitely could be Archangel Michael, somebody's dealing with, maybe y'all. So getting enlightenment here, uh, getting downloads through dreams here. I believe this is you, all right, getting these downloads through dreams. But the thing, because you're highly loved by your spirit team with the Ace of Cups, the Empress, the Four of Inspiration, which is the Four of Wands, like this journey you're going on, you got all this help from the universe around you, but there's some kind of interference here with the devil in the world so that it's like it's almost like somebody wants to um cloud up your mind or something here they want you to stay asleep um they don't want you to believe in your dreams or something like that okay so we got the seven of inspiration or somebody's been you know in this energy themselves where Maybe they were, the devil can be about addiction, temptation, you know, it can be about your own negative thoughts, and I'm seeing 333 on the clock sometimes, or just thoughts just overtaking, you know, overthinking, all right? So, with the Seven of Wands and the Magician, the Page of Materials, which is the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Emotions, which is the Two of Cups, um... It's like there's some interference here in your relationship, okay? Something is interfering with the relationship, so, or some kind of connection you're in here. Okay, so we got the page of voices and the eight of wands. It's like, it's like somebody wants to keep you in confusion here, or somebody that you're, you know, you or somebody you're dealing with has been dealing with a confusing person or situation this is this is a nine of wands energy which is like um a cycle that keeps repeating like maybe somebody has this tendency to stay stuck in the past they keep looking in the past you know thinking about the past all this and then at times it could get to where that could cause fear 
and I'm seeing 444 on the clock cause fear. Um, like, but what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? And then we got the five of inspiration here, which is the five of wands. I'm also seeing somebody, which could be you or somebody you're dealing with, that's integrating, um, some, uh, I don't want to say personalities, but integrating other selves or other versions of themselves that they needed to um, integrate. Or that could be you, you know, like, especially if it's um, a way of thinking or something like that, you know, you could be really overcoming that. I'm seeing you learning a lot and clearing up some confusion here. Also, there could be somebody you're dealing with that's being led to clear up some kind of confusion or something like that you're being guided to go with the flow you are the magic right now okay you are enlightened and this could be definitely be you pulling your energy back from somebody um or just being real cautious where you're directing your energy and i'm seeing this uh bow and arrow here with the full Aquarius energy, will and new beginnings assist with difficult and great undertakings. So your um your spirit team is helping you to get through this. Okay, it's like okay. So with speak your truth and the angel of communication, um, you could be having a throat chakra, um, maybe interferences, disturbances, or blockages. Okay, so you could be um. You could be having a throat chakra awakening here with the, if you have blockages with this seven of inspiration, because to me, this looks like opening blockages. Okay. So then we got the high priestess with these other um, angel cards. Okay. Success, protection from magistrates and the page of swords. Refuge governs dreams and reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. So it's like your angels are bringing you something in your dreams, okay? This is what it's it's looking like, okay? The lovers, joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples, removes negative energy. So it does, to me, it feels like there's this negative energy or negative influence that could have been um, friends with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, it could be family, I suppose, or it could be just somebody's own own thoughts, you know, own negative energy, okay? So whether it's uh, you or the people around you or this person or the people around them, it's like somebody here is clearing that energy out. Could be with, with the water here, with the nine of emotions, like, and this 10 of cups too, the emotions represent cups. Um, they almost look like they're dancing around in a um, sprinkler to me. It's like all this water. And yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of emotions going on here. A lot of love. And somebody is kind of regretting something or something like that with the sun here. And then we got the Ace of Swords. It's like somebody's, uh, wanting to speak their truth or somebody is leveling up here okay we got the emperor with the ten of pentacles like there's wishes coming true wish fulfillment coming in and you're getting all kind of signs or either your spirit um team that ain't what i meant to say you're getting all kind of signs or either you know your person is getting all kind of signs okay about speaking the truth okay somebody's trying to um I was going to say decide which way to go, but I that could be, you know, what's been going on. And with this tower here and all the cards that came after it, it seems like somebody's really making a decision on which way they want to go. Then this card was from the um, past life deck, and it wasn't supposed to be in this spread, but it fell out. And so then the wheel card at the bottom of this deck reminded me of, um, you know, uh, is it in Enoch or the Bible or wherever it is where they're talking about um, the will or y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so really, there's this really heavy um, angel energy here and the King of Swords can represent uh, Archangel Michael, especially with that temperance card. Okay, so something is um, something somebody is being guided here. And then this even looks like um, 
I did that reading uh, yesterday where it was something about coming out of the dark. Somebody's uh, finally seeing the light about a situation. Okay, um, the angel of evolution. Consider who you want to be. Consider the seeds you're planting or somebody is considering the seeds that they're planting. Okay, um, and even your thoughts are seeds. And that's making me think of that with this um, page of pentacles here. Like your thoughts are seeds. It's all connected. Okay, um, with this spider card here. Oh, that reminds me. Okay, that's what it was. I had pulled like three from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit. Okay, so I'm going to read those for y'all. And I already got them where they're supposed to be. Okay. And then I'm going to close this out. But the thing is, it's looking good. It's just like, it's it's this energy of, okay, so whatever this person's going through, it's either, you know, they're going to continue with the bull crap, but I don't really think that's going to be the case because we got all this happiness coming in here after the tower, the 10 of emotions, the nine of emotions, the 10 of, so we're talking about cups and pinnacles here, stability here. And I'm seeing 11, 11 on the clock. So there's an emperor here that is putting an end to some kind of, um, I don't know, this could be like this cold energy because wherever, you know, somebody was directing their energy. I don't know. I have no idea. But, you know, it's it's something that was interfering, okay, with... And if you're the Empress energy here, you seem to be in this loving energy. And, you know, so if it's you, then it could be a temptation or thoughts or whatever. But somebody definitely, it's like they don't want you to see something. But you're seeing it here. Something like that. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know what I want for that. Okay. Okay, so we got the panther. All right, and I just saw 12.22. Annihilation of the unnecessary purging. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. You, okay, if you're this emperor, you're doing some purging. Or if you're, if you're, if this emperor is your person, they are definitely doing some kind of purging here. Okay, and it's going to be like this level up for them. It really is. It's like, it's a burden. Whatever this was, was a burden. Um to them to the relationship or whatever or if that's you somebody is yeah an annihilation of something unnecessary something that you know heck i don't know something <laughs> okay whatever it is the panther won't stand to see our growth or energy stagnate instead it pounces into our lives and causes all kind of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives it's unexpected uncomfortable and sometimes feels devastating but after all the dust clears it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work we've all been through these experiences and they have made us better people trust that the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place when in balance, brave, productive. When out of balance, self-destructive. To bring into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. Okay. Okay, then we got cheetah. Okay. Solar force. Okay, and we got the sun here. All right. So, fire energy, I'm assuming. Okay. Solar force, action, achievement, masculine energy. Yeah, this masculine energy. The cheetah is the epitome of the solar forces at work. The sun doesn't shine onto the cheetah. It shines from inside this great creature. Okay, you see it better now. And expands outward to brighten the universe. The energy within a cheetah personality is palpable to others, and they naturally attract an audience to bear witness to their remarkable achievements. Purpose and passion are the best fuel for a cheetah's 
forward momentum. So if you're lacking in those areas, reconnect to the why before you start running. When in balance, achieves anything, balance energy. When out of balance, impatient, competitive. To bring into balance, reconnect to purpose. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Then we got the B. Okay. So yeah, with this, with this uh ten of wands here too, there's this energy of you know, possibly somebody needing some help here with some kind of work burdens or something like that. If this has anything to do with a job. But it's like somebody's somebody's dropping a burden here. So whatever they kept looking back at here, okay, um, or you looking back at something or replaying events over in your head or it's some kind of toxic energy or addiction or whatever is being cleared out. All right, so we got B. I love that card. Okay, earnest, hardworking, democratic. The B personality is a delight to be around, especially when there's a team project on the horizon. Bs love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures, aware of many subtleties at once. Since they're artists at heart, they usually add creative details to the overall vision. For the most part, they have busting, joyous personalities until they're too tired from all the work. Then they gripe, then they sting. When in balance, content, active, and vibrant. When out of balance, overworked and annoyed. To bring into balance, mini vacation. That's nice. So, you know, somebody could just be tired. <laughs> Somebody could just be tired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so sometimes we don't need to overthink things. So maybe that's one point of this message. Don't overthink things too much. All right. Don't take things so personally sometimes maybe. Okay, whatever the case may be. Because it's it can be a spectrum of different things for y'all. Some of y'all is definitely, you know, more, more to it. But why well, tell that? Don't tell yourself that story <laughs> until you see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, eagle, all pervading power, truth seeker, transforms karma. Okay, the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. The sun again. So, and then with the wheel. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, as far as the wheel can sometimes have something to do with karma. All right, so good or bad so just depending on which way things are going for you at the time all right so the noble eagle emanates the light of the sun this great bird is both physically and spiritually strong it represents mastery over the elements of fire and air when the eagle appears you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation the eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine Grasp the sun in your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. When in balance, bright, radiant challenges. When out of balance, controlling. To bring into balance, step into the unknown. And I think that's about that's what you're about to do. Step into the unknown somehow. Is that a hair? Yes, I apologize. That's a hair. Okay, but yeah, you're about to dive into the unknown some kind. And I just seen 18, 18... So that is nine. So step into the unknown. Okay, so by stepping to the unknown, what I'm getting here at this time is to have faith. Because uh, like I said, there's a lot of good energy coming in for you. Somebody is into something here, and I feel like it don't have anything to do with you. Okay, so you know, stay high vibrational at this time and keep focusing on what you focus focusing on because it's bringing in love abundance and everything else let whoever this is deal with their own issue i mean if that's possible for you but i hope this helped in some kind of way i love you guys thank you for being here hope to see you in the next one